On the eve of opening statements in Derek Chauvin's trial, Governor Walls delivered his State of the State address reflecting on the past year. He did so from Mankato West High School, where Martin Luther King Jr. spoke 60 years ago. Our state was thrust into the international spotlight following the death of George Floyd. Our deep racial inequities were exposed for the world to see. The governor mentioned how a return to normal isn't good enough. He also had a message after last summer's civil unrest. As the trial of Derek Chauvin gets underway, tensions and emotions will understandably run high. Please, Minnesotans, make your voices heard. Practice your First Amendment right, but please heed Dr. King's advice that nonviolence is the only way to truly move hearts and create lasting change. Governor Walls gave the address in the classroom he once taught in. To everyone who has lost someone they care about this year, Minnesota's heart breaks for you. The governor used his setting to refer to lessons learned in 2020. For me, being in this classroom today signifies the progress we've made in ending this pandemic. More than 1.5 million Minnesotans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. We are winning the fight against COVID-19. Starting Tuesday, everyone in the state 16 and older will be eligible to get the shot. We're monitoring closely as COVID cases have started rising again, spurred on by new variants of the virus. We must remain vigilant. Governor Walls also referred to his proposed state budget that would give a tax break to more than 300,000 families and would invest $50 million in a new forgivable loan program to help businesses hit hardest by the pandemic. Minnesota can and will emerge stronger from this crisis than ever before. The state of our state is strong, Minnesota. This is our goal line stand. Get vaccinated. We're coming back. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. Senate Majority Leader Republican Paul Gazelka released a video ahead of the governor's address saying the state of the state is hopeful. But Gazelka also called on the governor for clear guidance on when he will lift the emergency powers, saying Republicans think they should have been lifted long ago.